Hi guys, Drew James here. The song I'm playing is Van Morrison's classic, Brown Eyed Girl. And I'm going to show you how to play it. So let's get right down to it. So I'm starting off with this riff. That's the first part of the riff, which does get repeated, so I'll let you know when that is. So to start off with, you're putting your first finger down on the seventh fret on a B, and then you're bringing your second finger onto the eighth fret on the B string. So you should get that sound. Okay, that's the first part. And try to think of this as a shape, okay? So your fingers are in a specific shape, because we're basically going to be moving that shape around. Well, that and another shape coming up. The next shape is this. So this is the 8th fret on the thinnest string and your 3rd finger is on the 10th fret, okay? So you get that. So so far you should have this. Try to remember that shape as well, because what we're doing now is we're just moving that shape up to the 12th fret. So we're going... Okay, so what I mean by the 12th fret is your 3rd finger is holding down the 12th fret on the B string now. Okay, so you've got... That shape is the 10th fret on the thinnest string and the 12th fret on, your, on the B string, okay? Good, so that's the first part. You're then basically doing that same shape with your fingers, but you're moving it all up to here, to the 12th fret. So you're now holding down the 12th fret and the 13th fret on the E and the B string. So you've got that sound. Then you're sliding that up Kind of the same, well, it's exactly the same increment as what you've done previously. So you're now 13 and 15. So first and third finger. That's the next part. And then you're sliding that up to here, which is the 15th and 17th fret. So you've got 15 with your little, with your first finger on the thinnest string, and third finger on the 17th fret on the B string. So you've got. Then you're sliding it back down. Okay, so, so far you should have this, and then you're bringing that shape back down, okay, then, should we just try that again? I wasn't sure if I mentioned going back down there, so let's just try playing that through. Essentially I've shown you the shapes, they just repeat, so it's... Okay, and this is quite important, I'm just going to take a little sideline on this. So, with your, um, with your thumb, your thumb should be kind of going down and muting the E, A, D and G string because we don't need those, okay? Now if you're playing it uh, on electric guitar then it's going to pick up a lot of unnecessary string sound. So what you do is you just bring your thumb over to mute those, okay? And that gives it a much, a lovely sort of clean sound, yeah? So that's just a little tip that you should be doing while you're playing here. So let's get back to this riff. So we've done that, then we basically play the first part again, so this is the repeat I was talking about, so... Okay, hopefully you've got that by now. Now, this is the uh, new section. What we're doing is we're holding down the 3rd fret on the B string to make a D, and then we're holding down the 5th fret on the E string to make an A. So it's like that. So it's a similar shape, you've got your 1st and 3rd finger, but they're just the other way around. So we're strumming that, holding it for two beats, and then we're moving our first finger up to the seventh fret on the B string and going seven, and then second finger onto the eight, and then fourth finger onto the ten. Okay, so it's... Do that again. Really important that you use your little finger there. It's just really good for finger economy, and it means that when you then go back to that shape, it's very easy rather than having to sort of move finger positioning. Okay, so use your fourth finger there. And then, you may have guessed it, basically what we're doing is we're repeating the, uh, the whole phrase again. So we're going to play it really slowly a couple of times through. Try and play it with me. Okay, hopefully you've got that. So when we come straight off to that, that note, there, we 
get into the rhythm guitar and when the singing starts. Okay. Um, just quickly, if you've got any questions about that part that I've just played, then visit my website learnguitarinlondon.com and there's a contact me section there. So just contact me and and if you do have any questions, then let me know. Um, I'd like to be able, I'd like to answer them for you. Okay. Cool. So let's move on. So now we're on to the next section, which is G. So. For those of you who don't know how to make a G, I'm actually going to be taking you through how to make all these chords. So if you do know them, then, well, it's a G next. So you're holding down the second fret with your first finger on the A string, and then second finger coming up onto the th thickest string on the third fret, and then your third finger coming down onto the B string. So just a little reminder of the string names, Eddie, A, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie, E, A, D, G, B, E, okay? And then finally, our little finger is coming down onto the bottom string there on the third fret. So you should get that sound. It's a wonderful sort of folk, folksy G, okay? Cool. So that's your first chord. You're then changing to C, first fret on the B string, second fret on the D string, and third fret on the A string. Strumming the bottom five strings. That's your C. You're then going back to G, and then you're going to D. D, I'll take you through it. So it's the second fret on the G string, and you're using your index finger or first finger. Second finger on the second fret on the thinnest string, so they're on top of each other. And then third finger coming up over onto the third fret on the B string, okay? So there, your three chords for the verse. Strap the bottom four for that. So just so you can see these shapes. So that's that's what a G looks like. That's what a C looks like. And that's what a D looks like. Okay. Cool. So let's talk about the rhythm guitar. So this is on your right hand. Now this is very straightforward. What you're doing is you're going down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, that's the end of a bar. So you can also count it one, two, and three, and four. And. Okay, so we're going to try and play the song through now. Now, if you're a complete beginner, it's going to take you a while to get the chord changes, but what I do suggest is, is just taking a leap of faith and just trying to get that next chord and keeping your rhythm hand moving, because that'll make it sound like the song and it'll sound really, really good if you can just keep that moving. The temptation is, is because this hand isn't fast enough with the changes, this hand uh, stops, but try to keep your rhythm going, you know, that's, that's what music's all about, just keeping that rhythm, that groove. Okay, so let's go through it. So it's G, 2, 3, and 4, and C, 2, and 3, and 4, and G, 2, and 3, and 4, and D, 2, and 3, and 4, and Then we're repeating that round. So I'm going to sing it this time. We actually repeat that phrase, that chord progression, four times. I'm only going to sing it twice, just for the sake of time. So it's... through twice more okay so hopefully you've got the hang of that with the rhythm pattern okay so the next part is um, once we've done that four times we then change to a C so we go and you two, three, and four, and D to a brown eyed girl which is on the G, G two, and, three, and, four. and then we've got a new chord which is an E minor so E minor, you're holding down the second fret on the A string and also the second fret on the D string. And you're strumming the all six strings with this one, okay? So that's what the chord looks like. So then you're changing to that E minor. So let's just put that into perspective. So you're going and C, G, oh sorry, and C, D, my brown eyed G, G, E minor. Okay, so something that I do in the song, which you can try and I think it sounds really cool, is as I change from G to E minor, I do a little bass drum, which is where I go third fret on the thickest string, second fret on the thickest string, and then open on the thickest string, or the E string. 
So I'm going as I'm strumming. So I'm going and then leading to that E minor. That's something you might want to try. I think that sounds really cool and it's a nice little bass run. Um, and then after the E minor, so one, two, and three, and four, and C. To our new section. So we need a new chord now for this one. It's the last chord you're going to be learning today. So pop your first finger on the B string. This is to make a D7 by the way. Bringing our second finger up onto the G string on the second fret. And finally our third finger on the second fret on the E string. So it looks like that. Okay. And then you strum the bottom four. Now the rhythm changes slightly here, it's not too challenging. We're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and doing all down strokes. And also we're playing at what's known as crescendo, okay? So what that means is it's gonna get louder and it's gonna build into that chorus. Uh, it happens a lot in, um, in songs. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Here I'm raising the volume. I'm doing that by playing just the D and G string to start with, and then strumming more strings, B and E, finding the whole chord, and then we're into the chorus. Okay, chorus, um, all chords you know now, so we're then just going to bring back the original rhythm. So it's G, C, song um, that is repeated okay so I hope that's been useful for you and I, I hope you've enjoyed my lesson uh, you can go to my website learnguitarinlondon.com and I will be once you've signed up to the newsletter you'll then get access to the student area which will have the guitar tab for what I've just done give me a minute I'm only recording it today I'm hoping to have the tab up in a week's time um, so Yes, I really hope you've enjoyed it and um, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Take care.